Welcome back to another episode of Size Previews. As always, I'm Luke Matthews, joined by Chris Bins. Sit back, relax, let's get into it. So we're going to start the episode with number seven, number 13, however you want to call it, this is the one. Yeah, the one. Are we ready for this? 20 years in making this moment. Do you know what? It's, a, it's mad. It's, we don't normally show the shoe box on this, on this, but because we want to show you the full package. All the time, all the hours we put into it, getting this product to where it is now, the amount of samples we've done, the details in the box. And I mean, this is not the, all the details we've got coming. We've got there's other bits additional coming to, with this as well that we're excited about, that we've been producing as well, or, or getting ready for this big moment. And this is how it starts. Ultimately, your journey starts with a simple, clean flight case. Yeah. And that's what it was 20 years ago, before these cities came into the City Series. The anniversary started in 2010. It was an empty flight case. And the idea is, the more you go on the journey, the more you learn about these different cities, you build up your flight case. So the version you've seen, has been worn and battered across the world. It's got all the stickers from all the destinations it's traveled. And that's the idea of this. It's not just a normal box, is it? Ooh. It has something very special. Now, I, I know a little touch of what we did in 2020 was bring back that third lace for that city and also introduce a secondary lace not into an accent color. And we wanted to almost go a little step further here. I, I think when we first kind of briefed this to the guys that added us, I think they thought we were mad. We wanted 12 additional pairs of laces in the box and, well, we made sure we got it, didn't we? Because we knew the impact it would have when, and that when you open the box and it, it really completes the storytelling, brings it all back into this one shoe. Do you know what I mean? Obviously this journey's about the 12 shoes before it, but we wanted to make this one special. So what was important when we came up with this execution itself was it was an extension of the journey. It felt like it belonged in the universe, but it didn't take away from the individual cities. Yeah. It couldn't be another city. We felt it had to almost go above and beyond that. It needed to be a celebration of all of these collectives together. Yeah. And that's why the elevation of the materials came into it. This is going to sound mad, but it was never always about you, you were in this. It was, it, was, it was almost, and this might sound cliche as well, it's almost like, it's like a, something like a piece of artwork. I know that's, that's a probably a little bit deep, but we weren't necessarily thinking about how is it going to work. We just wanted it to, to look beautiful. Well, it had to be something that brought all of it together. Yeah. So the base needed to be relatively clean. So you could, because yeah. if not, it run the risk of just being crazy. Yeah. And we almost wanted this shoe to sit in the middle of all 12 and each part sort of tell the story of each city along the way. Well, do you remember the early CADs that we did? The initial idea was, so every panel of the shoe would be a panel from the, all the shoes previous. And we got it and it just didn't feel special enough, did it? That's why we wanted to take it to this le next level, like specking it up and, 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 and really going for it on the materials, really making it feel kind of almost like regal to a, to a, to a kind of certain degree. And yeah, and it's like, you do need to get it in your hand because every single element is dialed up. It's, and it's like with 2020 in the shoes, everything is just what you'd expect and beyond because and I also love the fact we managed to get the right shoes all the 2020 and the lefts all the 2010s. So it's just a really another sort of subtle nod. You'll see the 20 and the 10 on the heels. There's so many other details. We're actually going to do a bigger film talking through everything and the stories that got into it. But for now, I just like to appreciate these shoes. There's so much gone into it, so many stories. And I love all the stories of the community as well, yeah. where people traveled from, where we queued, the queues we couldn't even do in the end. Yeah. All these stories kind of, this shoe embodies all of that and that's what it's about. And I think that's, the, I mean, you hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> Since we started just journey, essentially, we, we, I remember being in Liverpool. It's all the other stuff that's coming along with it in between before we get to this shoe. I mean, this shoe was essentially meant to be two years ago. This was meant to be at the end of 2020. It's just been a massive journey. And I think it's a perfect moment to kind of give it a full stop to that whole period. Yeah, definitely. And obviously you'll notice we, the little nod. We started with one of 500, we went to one of 2020. It now says one of 2021 because like, like Vin said, it was meant to be 2021. But again, and we've spoke about this before as well, every journey you set out on isn't always that predictable. You don't always know how it'll end up but the destination we know, and it kind of embodies the journey we're all on right now. It yeah. is sort of, we don't know where it's, where it's going, but we're appreciating every single step of the way. So moving on, we've got our next project with Vans. We spoke about before how fun and exciting it is to work with a Vans brand, and we can almost get that license to push the boundaries even further. So now 
We've got the chance to work on a half cab, our favorite shoe. What better way to tell the story of reintroducing it than the two most iconic cabs in the world? We've got the London Taxi and the New York Cab. I mean, first of all, coming back to what you said, half cab is, is my favorite van shoe. We've been waiting for this shoe to come back into the line so we can work on it. And, and what a story this is as well. I mean, it's, it does seem pretty obvious, but it's, we, it's been executed amazingly. And we can always go a little bit wilder with vans. We always know that that's, the, the limits aren't really there with them guys, and, and we, we appreciate that. I mean, the product always comes out really well. The storytelling behind this is, is spot on. The details in it, again, like, you know we love a detail. The details in it are, are ridiculous, aren't they? I mean, and, and there's some like, little bit hidden bits, I would say, as well, which we always like to do. Yeah, so the details in it, I mean, you go into the footbeds there, you've got the maps of the city, the, the relevant cities in there. And, and again, the product, take away the storytelling, is just really, really good, isn't it? Really, really strong. There's so many nice details in this. My favorite detail that we managed to include was, obviously Vans shoes are known for having the iconic license plate on the back of the heel. So we made the license plates the color they would be in the state and obviously yeah. in the cities they are. So you have obviously the London taxi license plate color and the New York taxi license plate. They've also got an iced outsole, again, not into that sort of off-duty, on-duty yeah. light on the top of the cab. There's so many little details, A to Z on the bottom of the, of the footbed, obviously iconic and so relevant for it. And then you take all that away, you just look at the shoes in isolation on the shelf. The two amazing executions of Bangus. Cab. Bangers. Materials are amazing. The hairy suede on this one's Man, so good. The shoe's just, the shoe's just a great shoe anyway, so it's been a pleasure to work on it, like, finally. I mean, it's, it, 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 like I say it again, it's my favourite van shoe. You're, you're, you're the same, man. You know, the kind of thing we always risk here with these story, with stories is sometimes it can kind of cross the line, can't they? And it could, yeah. could be a little bit cheesy. Do you know what's mad? I know we, we kind of pushed the boundaries here, guys. Some of the stuff we've got coming later in the year, or one story in particular that we've briefed is, epic as well, Jimmy, and it takes it to that next level of storytelling. Yeah, that's all we'll say for now, but it's one I'm very excited to talk to you about. Over the years at Size, we've referenced these shoes yeah. so many times, but we've never been able to actually properly talk about them. Well, the mad thing is, is that, like, you probably know what's coming, but like, the mad thing is that we've applied this to so many other shoes. I think we've probably done it on a trim style at some point, or a Malmo, all sorts of different shoes. We've done Munchen, Munchen, Kegler, we go on and on. so many times, and like, for the first time ever, we can actually do the shoe properly. Properly. I think that's a, that's the key word there, properly. So it's a massive proud moment for us to show that we're going to be doing the Japanese Athens one for one as they were originally. Now, we've had them on the shelf for a long time, working on these, getting them right. Blimey, that's all I can say about this. It's just it's just so exciting to finally do it. I mean, and, and we feel privileged that we got a chance to do this. And, and once we got the chance to work on Athen, and I think that was a straight away, that was it, Japanese Athen. We need to do it one for one, bring it back exactly the same. And and, and we have had a few samples on these because we, 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 we wanted it to be perfect. We wanted to even just like down to the measurements of the tongue branding and stuff like that, the logo on the tongue. We wanted to get it perfect, didn't we? And we've got there. And I think we're giving you a dilemma. And I feel really bad because I feel like we're giving you a dilemma here of like, which one do I buy? But you're gonna have to, <laughs> you're gonna have to buy all four, well, unfortunately, that was, because that you need every one. It was like, we can't just do one. Exactly, when you do it, because we debated all the time, like, okay, we did, we did two, which two will we do? Yeah, we just couldn't do it. two red base shoes, but you, you can't not. You, you see these always together as a pack, it's always a pack in it. And I think even just little details like this, like we've got the secondary laces here, like different colours to kind of, on the laces, even like the wrappings on the laces, everything. It's coming back to this kind of OG feel and, and, and going into them details and really getting it right. I mean, it's it's just so exciting. This is probably one of the, and we've done a lot of exciting stuff, haven't we? This is probably one of the most exciting things we've ever done. It's it's massive and it's a massively proud moment. Like we said, this this pack has lived in, in images on my phone yeah. forever. Yeah. And like to see them in real life is massive. Like this has just been a myth, a dream of like these things of like a reference for us. Yeah, we've just done this on other shoes, and it's never been. You mean you get as close as you can because yeah. the great colorways, it's the great colorways. Look at them. Yeah. But it's not the actual shoe, is it? No, yeah. this time it is the shoe. And the difficulty is, like we were saying, it was hard to pick between them all. But like you can't, but you can't even rank them, can you? Like, no, can't rank them. Well, no, I bet you, you can't. could you even do it? No. Could you even do it? You couldn't. Could no, because I could make a case for all of them. Exactly. And I'm sorry about that, but you're gonna have to buy all four. So we've seen a lot of these videos around, people doing tier lists. 
But it got us thinking, and it kind of just felt in line. We were trying to talk about trim styles the other day, and we've yeah. done a lot of trim styles over the years. Mm. And we were trying to rank, not rank them, but we were trying to say, well, it was kind of me discussing with you what I felt the best trim style execution was. Yeah. I think it come about because we, we've essentially got to the point where we've done our last trim style yeah. for a little while. We're yeah. probably not going to revisit it for a, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, we don't know, yeah, but it's feeling that way at the moment. And we've had a lot of them. Mm. And there's been some money, there's been some absolute bangers. I mean, you disagree on a lot of these, don't we? No, I disagree. I think we just have a different of opinion on some of the. We've both been around this business a long, a long. Mm. We've been around size for a long time, so we've seen essentially seen it all. Yeah. We've seen them all come through. Yeah. And a lot of them bring different kind of memories back for us. I'd say. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Let's get into it. Is we're going to try and put together a definitive list of the size trim stars. Yeah. But what we do want is we want your list. We want to know what you think of this list. Is there anything we've got right? Is there anything we've got wrong? Does some go higher or lower? Let's see. It's interesting to open. And we have actually floor. got a few with us as well to compare and to have a look at because I think that'll help as well. Some executions just to refresh our memory. Yeah. But in terms of the overall list now, we've got where should we start? Do you know what? Should we start with the OGs? Where would the OG sit? That's the, that, I, think, I think that's the ultimate building block to it all, doesn't it? Where do you play a seven, then the rest of it sits in place after that? Mm. For me, an OG would deserve the respect of at least sitting, I don't know, in in in, in A category, maybe even in, in the S category. I think the S category needs to be for that. Pure special Go into that, going a little bit above. So, do we set the base of the? I think the OG deserves to be there, just just for the fact it's the OG. Yeah, well. Do we put it into the? Yeah, air yeah put it in then. Yeah, you can put it in. Yeah, no, I think it needs to be there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 happy I'm with happy that. With I think it needs, he sets the base of where yeah. everything else bit. He, he was the first one, essentially. One so. thing I do want to say though, by the way, all these are great executions. Just because we're, if we put something in D, I'm not saying it's a bad execution. No, this we're is just, just saying the, we're giving it a hierarchy. And it's only our opinion. Yeah. Do you mean it doesn't mean we're right? No, it's just no. our opinion. There's no yeah. right and wrong answer to this. This is what we believe. Yeah. I think personally, the next, the next one, let's eliminate some duplicates. Not, not, I can't say duplicates because they're not, but there's two shoes to me Purple Crystal and then the Mark Evans. Yeah. From a colorway perspective, similar. Yeah. Now, Purple Crystal was always one of our favorites. It applied in any shoe, always looks beautiful. Yeah. But essentially, the Mark Evans has got that extra level of storytelling. I'm Two sort of, very similar executions. Exactly. Now, I always love this colourway, but yeah. I think this one needs... I, I, I would say, honestly, and people are going to disagree, because they're both doing the same job, let's get this one down into D. Yeah. And then our representation from this kind of colourway is, is the Mark Evans ones, because it gives us that extra level of storytelling. And... Everything that it stood for, everything that it meant, the whole create your own thing was was amazing for us. Do you mean? And yeah, there's there's a lot surrounding that, and yeah. it's sometimes not just the product on the shelf. You sometimes have to look at the space that surrounds the product. Yeah. And for me, the whole thing that this was voted for by the community, created by the community, then you layer in Mark's story, yeah. and what the cause was that when we brought it together, yeah. it, it elevates it all. So for me, that that does sit in A tier. Yeah, but. They're both very similar, and I think if this one wasn't there, this one would definitely sit a bit higher. Yeah, 100%. But we, we have to be realistic when we put these together. 100%. Now, for me, these are just these are good executions. Yeah. This, they're just nice executions. These are just a, a two great colorways from 2013. We're in a different place then, weren't we? I'm going to sit this one in C. Okay. Just the fact there's, there's not a lot of black going on there, and I actually think if this one was to come out now, I think just the way people are going, I think this one probably be seen as a little bit different. Yeah. It'd be good to get people's opinion to not seen these before, because like I said, these are from 2013. If you're a little bit younger and you've not been collecting for, for that long, mm. you might not have seen these before, so it, you might have a completely different opinion on them. Yeah. They, might, they might blow your mind. It'd be good to kind of get get people's opinions on it. Do, we, do you want to talk about the last ones and, and we'll go into... Yeah, okay. Because it just helps us group it a bit more, because there are so many of these trim cells that we need to get through, but... This for us was a massive pack, wasn't it? I mean, we the, the, the shoes that we got to kind of bring back for this, that, sh that we talked about four shoes that we couldn't bring back because of tooling or whatever, we got to do it on this pack. And 
they were amazing and it's difficult to pick between this pack let alone the rest of the trim stairs as well so yeah i think so some of these may be impacted with other things to come as well i'd say because for me this i love this execution i think the lever's incredible i love the different variation of the stripes yeah. obviously then they have the archer piece in there the whole lost ones narrative for me this could you could argue this one would sit towards s tier in A tier. However, yeah. I know something that's going to come that's quite similar to this. But for now, I think we put this in A. I think I know which one you mean, and I I agree with you, um, just because of how much the other one means to you. <laughs> but it just means no, it, no, not that one. In general, not that one. What is which one? I'm is thinking it? another one that's very similar stripe execution. All right, well, we'll see which one. I'm a bit surprised if it's not the same one. No. That one's S tier that you're thinking about. The one I'm thinking about for this is VHS. Ah, right. Okay, yeah, I get you. But one thing I'd say then, do you want storytelling from a DNA perspective of Addy, or do you want just storytelling for storytelling? Nah, to me, to, in all honesty, this one's amazing. And it feels bad because they're like your children, because obviously we worked on this one. And, and But VHS for me was... Yeah, exactly. It, and, and that is a grail, let's be honest. That's a grail, and it's a great shoe. So yeah, I agree with you then. Yeah. Should we, what's next? So we're going to do more lost ones. We're going to do London Slime. Just because there's so much in here, you know, I think this, and, and unfortunately... I'm thinking I, around, I'm thinking around here. I would have said see me, really. I mean, the London Slime's amazing. It just doesn't feel that it was prominent as the other ones in the pack, if that makes sense. Yeah, there were, there were definitely more stand-up ones. I mean, one stand-up one for sure, San Francisco execution. <sighs> now, leather, insane. Yeah. Nod to San Francisco, which again we both love. Yeah. For me, this one, solid B. Yeah. I think you could make a pretty good case for that sitting in A. I think I I think B, man. I I do think B. I think A for us. I think we need to start real because we've still got quite a few to get through. I think we really need to start looking at how we do this because we'll have everything in A essentially. No, it's fine. And I, that's a, that's a, we've got to be on it. We've got to be honest. And we've got to, this is like a, a ranking piece yeah. in it, and we want to rank them. Like we don't want to just put everything in A because no. we think everything's great because. You mean it's stuff that we, we hold close to us because we worked on yeah, it? Yeah, I get so. that. I get that. Now we're going unknown, which for me, t storytelling box. Wildcard, I would tick. say, yeah. Wildcard box, tick. It sat as part of a wider pack. Yeah. I think this one was one of the standout ones from the pack. Yeah, it's a shoe 100%. that people haven't been able to get hold of originally. 100%. And like we always say, you take all the storytelling aside on the shelf, I think it's a really good execution. Yeah. I love the, the contrasting stripes on there. For me, that's another B. For me, it's a footbed as well. Like the fact we went with a blue footbed on it, but yeah, I think that that sits in B. Okay. Guam, do we? We all do Guam. I think out of this pack, this probably was the dark horse, but I think the other ones probably were more prominent. Yeah. For me, this one would sit probably in a D. Yeah. I think yeah. I think our upset. We've got a bit of an obsession with Guam as a shoe. Yeah. And did, I love the toe down. And I think that's what I think we've always wanted to to essentially do something with that shoe, and we we couldn't. No. And I don't think it necessarily the shoe's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not, but we have to rank it. Yeah. I don't. I just think that it didn't translate as well onto Trimster. Right. There's one lost ones we've not put in yet, and we are going to talk about. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not bother doing elephant, it because you're just going to put it. In, I know you're going to put it. The elephant it, right? in the room, which is this. Okay. The Zizu. This embodies everything the lost ones is about not only does it look amazing it's inspired by something so much more amazing yeah i'm just sorry i'm just like comparing them levels good the same in it same leather i love the suede toe down and obviously it nods to wes what i like about this is like the, this other stuff is like obviously great doing that San Fran, Guam, etc. But this took the lost ones into another space. I felt. Took the lost ones into another space. Introduced the lost ones to a new consumer. Cons consumer new 100%. communities being introduced to it. It transcends so many boundaries. That for me is the definition of what an S tier execution should be. What What was great about this year is we were we had people asking us who weren't necessarily Adidas fans that were asking us about the shoe and wanted to get a hold of the shoe just because of, of, of obviously Wes and and the time with the film and it's like. Obviously, we've got quite a purist Adidas fan who who likes all the all these shoes. But then it was great to see somebody else from from elsewhere into the shoe. And that I think is what takes it from being an A to an S. What does S stand for? Special. 
and whatever you want whatever you want it to be special right now some of these let's get through some of these we've not got samples for would, would you believe it that we I mean we probably have got samples somewhere but we've yeah, got, are, we've got yeah. a vast archive so that's to, all over the place not it's... today we've got samples so straight away I'm looking at Colnago here yeah. amazing story let's get the new and the old I love it when we introduce a third party and this new consumer yeah. from a different world yeah, it was a, that was a great project to work on as well that storytelling really good We've got another white-based option in here. In terms of looking at execution, I don't know if it's as good as some of the other white-based options. Yeah, from from just, I would say B, personally. Yeah, I'd say B. Um, I think it was it was great. It was great to work on the time with everything else was amazing. Obviously, we did the the accessories part with it and that, and it was a great story. I just feel. Yeah, it just doesn't mean as much to people as some of the other ones that are above it, I would say. The next one is, is Pumpkin, I would say. Okay. Do, you, I, do you, one thing about this one, just lift it. It's just a great colour. Um, but the one thing that lifted about this, I always remember how it was leaked, which was, um, it was mad. Because I always remember it was on, it was really weird. So it was on one of the desks in the office. Yeah. And someone had took the picture from, it felt like about, God, not about 50 metres away. Yeah. And the leak of the shoe was a zoomed in picture that was really pixelated <laughs> yeah. on a desk. And yeah. that picture spread quite far initially and everybody was talking about this pumpkin shoe. Adds another level to it and gives it a bit of storytelling. So I would say, based on that, it probably sneaks into B. Do you think? Not from a product perspective, but from that showing what the community mm. is about and how quick something could spread. I, I don't know if that can sit at that level of some of the other ones in there. From I I just look. That I think that sits in there. Does it sit? <sighs> I w I would say it does just off the back of that because if you're looking at some of the ones to come, there's a lot of other stuff. If you're looking at, at, at stuff that we've got in the, coming that we're going to talk about mm. from a normal standard color perspective, that is elevated above most of them. Yeah. Because it's got that bit of that edge about it. And well, it's got a nickname. Right. It's got a nickname. Let's put it pumpkin. in. Yeah, let's put it in there then for now. Okay, this little one here. Yeah, we've not actually got that one, have we? No. I did think we had that one. I think we could, that it probably sort of falls in line with similar comments we've made. I think really a, nice execution. Good, easy execution. Yeah. I think a lot of these things kind of fall into this. Yeah, so we can probably box a couple of them off there. Th this is an interesting one. The, tr the, the, the triced looking yeah. one because essentially we we we're massive fans of it we yeah. want we want to work on trist yeah one of my favorite shoes the Addis team can vouch for that as well because we've asked them probably a million times yeah i just don't know if it translates properly because i don't think they've i don't think when it's been looked at i and, don't and, and I'm, I'm not like shir like shirking any responsibility here there's details that trist has which you guys could probably tell us as well that i feel it's missing yeah, there's an element of that, and I think it's a colourway that's been used across a lot of things. Mm. So I don't know if that means it it goes higher or lower. I think it goes into the really strong execution category, to be honest. Mm. So look at another one. I think we've got a sample of that here. That also falls in line with really good, solid execution. Another one, I think, for me, falls in line with really good, solid execution. Well, I think there's two very, um, I think for, for me, there's two very football referenced yeah, you could say if you're a Bradford fan, or maybe I mean maybe they might fall into that Villa esque kind of look on one of them. So the, the strong execution, which might mean a bit more to other people, but for yeah. us, I feel that they were just strong in in that bottom tier with just great colours that we've seen on the shoe. Now this next one's an interesting one because we spoke recently about inspirations from Japanese Athens and certain mm -hmm. things coming through. Now this is one that we've again seen over the years. Yeah. On a trim star, it's great. Mm. On a trim star, it's really good because the colour's amazing. But it's not Athens. Yeah, I mean, I think I think for me, this. I, I think if we put this into two brackets now, essentially of good... See, I disagree with you. I think we put this into two brackets of good, decent colourways on trim star. Mm. And then better, decent colourways than trim star. That, for me, comes towards the top end of that and probably needs to sneak into C. Okay. I mean, you might disagree. No, okay. I I, I just think it, it, looking at that at this bottom row now, let's just 
look at it as a whole, as mm-hmm. it stands, that, for me, um, we discussed the reason Purple Crystal's in there. We know that, the Mark Evans crossover, and Mark Evans got, is, is a lot better storytelling and what he stands I do kind of want a bit of architecture in here as well, so I, I guess we do need a bit more in C. I think, for me, that is a better version of a standard. I don't want to say standard because none of them are standard. But it's a stronger colourway to the rest of the shoes it's sitting with. Yeah, OK. No, I can see it. I think we do need a bit more in C to do that. That's fine. And because of the, the Japanese Athens iron, I think, as well, it, it gives it a bit more leverage. Yeah. No, I get that. So I think talking of them, the, I think there's two shoes that fall into that category then of really good. I think both of these executions here both feel like they, they belong in C. Yeah, 100%. 100% and if you can't guess them yeah. what they're referencing you need to do your research now there's one more before we get on to what we need to, to talk about I think there's, there's this execution which I think you could probably say would, would sit in good I've, execution I mean look at it now look at the table now you can see it's, it's stacking up I was a bit worried we weren't going to get to this point but you can see it's stacking up it makes sense doesn't it now and that for me just it just makes sense to sit in that space yes so this is where I think this is where I want you guys to get involved because this one's probably the one that's known as the Grail yeah. in terms of Trim Star. Yeah. I think it's one more than other, definitely. And this was at a time where this where it does bring storytelling into it. It does bring great colour execution and it does bring, in terms of just on the shelf, amazing materials. just looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the VHS pack. Now... I prefer the white based option, the cleaner, mm. lighter based. But a lot of people reference that black based it's option. Right, isn't it? They do. It's, we still get uh, uh, we still get asked all, I know, all I, the time. I, asked all the time we've got any floating around the office. Like, it's still this like mad shoe that like is is actually grail. I remember when we were working on the shoes, it it, it felt really right, the materials were spot on. Did the boxes And, and that's another thing that people forget like we have to look at everything in this. Yeah. It's not just, to your uh, point of yeah. a pumpkin, it's not just the shoe. The box was so good on yeah, the product. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, keep, you, you won't let the pumpkin lie, will you? I think, I think it should be. I just think because of how it, I just no, like the way it leaks and stuff. Yeah. But VHS, yeah, it's a grill. I think it's in S. I think it sits in S. And as well. I think both of them go in S. I, I, like I said, you could argue for the one going in B, just, but that's just personal opinion. But once we've put it all together and they're both grills, now, I know there's probably a couple more that's not in there. No, yeah, this, we... this was the shortlist we worked with. Yeah. Um, is there anything that I think, let's have a look. So it's got the shape we wanted. Mm. I think it needs that architecture in there. Yeah. I think S tier is solid. I think that is S tier for me. You guys tell me not if you think there's anything so, in there that let, should let, be. Let's think about it then. So let's just quickly go through each tier like, and work our way backwards a little bit. It's, it's almost like S tier. Is there anything else looking at that now? do you think deserves to go in there? Is there anything we could debate? I, I mean, think you can make a really good case for Mark Evans sitting in I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say exactly the same thing just because of what we did with that shoe, mm. what it stood for, how it brought the community together, the fact that we got one, we got somebody to de- design their own as well. And, and it was not just that, it's not just Mark, I think Mark's involvement's massive, but it's the fact it was a community about, brought yeah, that exactly, shoe together. Yeah. So that that's one for me that could do there, but then it does kind of, well, you've just worried about how it looks on there. That's all it is. It's just your OCD kicking in that. But I think from a perspective here... Yeah. I think that could that does sit with those, to be honest. I feel more comfortable with that there now, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything now that you would say moves up? That's that's the, the, the other question. And goes into A. I don't think there is. I mean, that can argue you could, it is debatable. Yeah, I mean, we could debate it all day. Yeah, I... Yeah. I think now the key thing is is get it out to you lot. You let us know what you think. I think there's too many in S tier. I think we it shouldn't be there shouldn't there could be the same in S and A, but I don't think there should be more in S than A. So I think one needs to drop down. Let's move down. Like, like okay then. Like, rather than debating it too much. First thing that comes in your head, what should you move down? Black VHS. Same. Just move it down. I think that gives us a better shape, yeah. to be honest. I'm still happy with Mark sitting in S because I think it's everything that comes down together. Yeah. You could argue, you, and like this pains me to say it, you could argue 
again, there shouldn't be that many in S. And if there was only two, you'd have to say it would be Mark and VHS sitting in S. Which is it's bold for me to say. But I think if you used to do that... Because, right... I didn't want to say this earlier, because I know, of course, you hold a wedge shoe. Yeah. But, essentially... And it did. It did take it like we discussed earlier. It did take it into that different world, almost of this whole thing. But if we were talking about, there's, I mean, there was no real special story to it. We were just referencing that shoe. We couldn't really go beyond that. Mm. Didn't have a special box. Didn't have a special meaning behind it. Well, it did. If you, it did. If you're into the film. Yeah. And the fact the shoe came out and in the premiere. Do you know what? I think we put that back up. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts, what you want to see us rank, what you think of this list. We'd love to know the thoughts on Trim Stars, and we'll see you next time.